It's somewhere along these country roads that a country superstar... Hey, everybody, Blake Shelton here. ...met Rojo Hartman. I, I didn't get a chance to get Blake's number. I give him one of my cards, though. I did do that. Rojo was headed home from Ardmore when he reached a river that was once a road. There's a car on the other side pulled up. Here he went in it, and I thought, huh. I thought, well, I believe I'd make it, too. He didn't make it. Soon, he and another passerby were pushing his stalled truck up a hill. He said, don't slip down, and I said, I'm nodding. It was a slow move to start with, but we stayed with it. That is, until a Dodge pulled up with a handy tow rope and a familiar face. And the guy said, are you ready? And that looks like Blake Shelton. That's exactly what I thought. And I said, yeah, I'm ready. Soon the truck was safe up the hill, but Rojo was far from home. And I said, hey, could you give me a ride home? <laughs> and he said, uh, where you live? And I said, uh, just right over yonder. And this unlikely duo was off, as Rojo warned the Hartmans. My wife called me. I said, uh, Blake Shelton pulled me out, and uh, uh, he's going to go ahead and bring me on home. I said, uh, you better... Uh, you better slick up and, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll be there in just a minute. So for the next few minutes, the two just shot the breeze. Oh, we hit it off real good. He looked like a normal person, but 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 tall. I'm telling you, he's, he's on that age, uh, he's doing good. Before long, they were home. The family snapped a few photos and Blake was off. Rojo now hopes someday he can repay the favor. Get him on that. Facebook deal, or however that is, I don't know nothing about it. It was great. It was great. It was pretty good. He's, he's, a, he's a good fella, I think. Yeah, I like him.